Now that I'm in the editing stages of my book, it's something that I really like to use for all of my books so that I'm able to hear back exactly what my book is saying in someone's voice and it just helps so much in the editing process. I'm an indie author of four fiction books. I go by the pen name Alaska Walters and in this video I'm going to show you how to use text-to-speech on Kindle to listen to your books before you send them to your editor. So I use Google Drive to write my books. So here I'm just going to download my book into a Word document so that I'm able to send it to draft to digital for formatting. So now that I have it downloaded, I just move it to my desktop because it automatically saves in downloads on my computer. And then we are going to jump over to draft to digital. So now that I'm in Draft Digital, I'm going to add a new book. You can add a new book if it doesn't exist, but because I've done this before, I just am going to edit the file on my current book. So I'm going to Details and then I'm going to upload a new copy of the book onto here and then save it. So now we come to this page and I'm not going to worry about any of those options because I'm not actually publishing it for anyone to see. So I just want a basic formatting basically so that it works in Kindle. So the next part is to publish it on two different platforms, but because I'm not wanting to do that, you have to pick one, however, so I'm picking one and I'm publishing it, and then I'm going to quickly download the file and then delete the book so no one actually sees it. So if you want to review it on Kindle, you're going to select a Mobi file, but if you're wanting to listen to it on iBooks, an EPUB file would be more compatible. So I went ahead and deleted the book and now I'm in my email collecting the Mobi file. So I emailed it to myself and now I'm just opening it in Kindle. So when you select to open the file, it will give you an option to open it in Kindle. So you'll see that little arrow up the top right there that's how you do it now if I selected um, an EPUB in Kindle it said it wasn't compatible so now I'm selecting the Mobi and it is compatible so you type in the author name press send and then we're going to download the book to your Kindle now you're going to open your Kindle app and go to library so here you're going to want to refresh the page to download your latest file. And once that file comes in, then you're just going to click on it and download it. So now when you open the file, you'll be able to see your book. So now that you have that all set up, the next step is to set up text-to-speech. So you can see that little arrow in the top of my screen and that is voice to speech set up already. So I'm going to show you now how to go and set it up from scratch. So first we're going to settings and accessibility and then we're going to spoken content and you just want to select speech selection, speak selection and speak screen and that is going to bring it up. And then you can click on voices to choose your voice and you can also select how fast the speaker speaks. So now we go back to Kindle and let's put it to use. So there is your little arrow. You can move it around the screen and all you do is go to the Breaking page you toys, want, select the play button or you can select on the finger and tap a certain part to read from a certain chapter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the video so you don't miss any others that I come out with.